What's going on guys, Bionic here, welcome to another Raid Shadow Legends video. As you just saw there, we are doing the world's fastest free-to-play Lydia, and it is not me, unfortunately. But hey, it is what it is, man. Um, there's so much RNG involved in this game, and who knows? I know for a fact I did not concentrate on Faction Wars probably early enough. And as you'll see with this player right here, he did get some good pulls. He did get the right pulls also for some of the factions, and he actually completed this pre nerf okay the latest one we just had a couple days ago and he actually beat me by about a week maybe a little bit more and don't worry guys i have the proof i'll show it a little bit later but um he also beat me by having a much younger account than i have i started in february of last year he started in like july or august okay so um like he did pretty well also his total player power four million that's about on par with me right now okay so uh this guy obviously has been doing something right and we're gonna look at all of his teams we're gonna go over some information that he's given me as to what allowed him to complete this he did shuffle a lot of gear around as well he also used a lot of level 50 champions i think that's one thing that really uh did the trick for him i know i was trying to build like full teams maxed out champions all masteries not really trying to pay attention to can i get away with a uh, a uh, team that's not so like built right but anyway all that being said um let's go over real quick here for a brief second his um conversation with me on discord okay and so what he's saying right here is that he completed that last night so that was about 10 days ago right eight so nine days ago i'm gonna say he completed that we'll say at the beginning of the month and uh here are the teams that he used we're gonna go over each of these screenshots um pulling this up right now we have first the undead faction wars so he does have a level 50 scar Torsus. he did get a gore grab a seeker which is level 50 as well he does have a maxed out catacomb counselor and a level 50 husk that's pretty impressive you have three level 50 champions in here all right so um that's says a lot about how he's been able to work with um the champions but more importantly the gear and look at the time 30 minutes to complete this so if you have a lot of time every day to give this multiple tries and each runs will last 30 minutes then um, maybe you can complete this a lot faster okay so on this one we have the husk in a stun set we have the uh gore grab which typically has his arbiter gear so probably really fast or torsus i guess is the same maybe we can check him later seeker the same catacomb counselor the same okay so it doesn't tell us too much about what they're currently wearing but we'll go into the champions real quick after as for the dark elves Kel is the same. Uh, he's saying a little bit more speed. Silar is the same. Okay, we'll check that later. Cold Heart number one and two, the same. Vizier, the same. Okay, so we'll check those builds a little bit later. But two Cold Hearts of Vizier, Kale, and Psylar. Not too bad. 12 minutes also to complete it is actually pretty good. This one, though, we don't see three stars, but I'm assuming he eventually got three stars. Uh, then as for the Banner Lords, we have a Manaya level 50, which is pretty solid. Stagnite, maxed out, Senechal, Senechal, whatever, and two Killian the Luckies, okay? So I was struggling with just one, but I can imagine two is actually pretty solid. Good turn meter control and good stuns. 54 minutes. And it worked. You know what? It worked so awesome. As for the gear, we're uh, seeing here slightly same uh speed but maybe a little bit more speed sorry same gear a little bit more speed on this Senchal. then we've got the mania same stagnite the same killian one and two the same okay so we'll check the gear a little bit later on those as well as for the lizardman he's saying it's basically all the same gear he's not moving this around he has a level 40 skull sworn level 50 skull lord 60 rosin 60 jar egg and level 50 broadma 23 minutes to get this one done as for the uh orcs we have sandlash survivor vrask level 50 60 Krila, level 50 grohack and level 60 zargala 12 minutes 37 seconds all the same gear okay uh barbarians we've got a valkyrie yeah valkyrie will make that pretty easy for sure but you even don't need her in here i i showed my build before so like you know don't don't go thinking you need a valkyrie for this to work we have a level 60 high Katoon, style of the drakes level 50 vala and level 50 cantra the cyclone uh so again a lot of level 50s i think you know that is what i'm noticing right here he saved a ton of resources by not maxing out the champions 16 minutes on this run right here all the same gear we're going to check that a little bit later then we have the dwarfs to molly to molly the grizzled jarl the mountain king and the rearguard sergeant i'm not gonna lie this is a very fantastic team okay that's gonna make uh that faction wars actually quite easy so i don't know if he fused the first molly and then he pulled a second one that is huge 
really really good great champion i wish i would have just one but i don't for this one the rear guard had six piece immortal 200 uh, accuracy is what he's saying <clears throat> one of the molly level 60 had the arbiter gear so just really really fast the second one had a lot of speed uh rest doesn't matter grizzled yarl six piece immortal 200 plus accuracy and then the mountain king is dressed the same as we're gonna see in a second as for the high elves all the same and then he's able to farm stage 21 on auto two royal guards in there that's pretty solid basically that's my next team i'm gonna drop probably jingle hunter and i'm gonna build my second royal guard and then i'm gonna put that right in there so hopefully i can uh speed up my farming 16 minutes still pretty long but hey you don't care you just want to complete it as for demon spawns we have more to macabre infernal baroness a duchess because he also has a duchess huh? and valkyrie yeah more to macabre is also pretty solid in here fellhound which is pretty good and uh candrophone okay so some pretty good champions i'm not gonna lie really really nice we have a shield set more to macabre uh with 200 plus accuracy Fellhound in a stun set because this guy has aoe a1 then we have the infernal baroness which is the same we'll see in a second duchess the same and candrophone the same okay so maybe gear is not moving around as much as i thought it would be right but we'll see after when we look at all these builds as for the knight's revenant no demon spawn knight revenant is before okay knight rev we've got doom priest skull crown sepulcher sentinel i just want a sepulcher sentinel man I want one. Miscreated Monster and Sinatia. Uh, pretty good here overall. Great synergy between these two. A lot of survivability with this guy and a lot of survivability as well with this Bulker Sentinel. 21 minutes to get this one done. They're all maxed out though. Maybe he reuses these champions elsewhere, but still pretty nice. For the gear, we have uh, Doom Priest, pre pretty much the same. Maybe a little bit more speed, okay? Sepulcher the same, Skull Crown the same. Miscreated monster is the same, Sinatia the same, so I'm thinking these guys are as is, we're gonna see that in a second. As for Sacred Order, we've got the Martyr in the same, Fenax the same, okay? We do have Mistress of Hymns, which is in a six-piece Immortal, we have Hope in a six-piece Immortal, and we have the Frostbringer in a stun set, level 40, level 50, level 50. Pretty impressive, very nice for this one, almost 16 minutes to get this one done on three stars. Then we have the Ogren Tribes, all the same here. We do have the Gurp Duck, level 50, level 60 Bellower, a Cold Brawler, Drop Gold the Gaunt, and the Skull Crusher, level 50. Also 16 minutes. Man, this is really impressive. A lot of level 50s. I'm really impressed. And then the gear, uh, like I said, he said all the same for this one as well. So, things are not moving around as much as I thought. Like, not at all. Okay, for the final one, the Skinwalker's Crypt, stage 21, we have a Steel Skull, Ursine Ironhide, Fane, Gnarlhorn, and Basher. Level 50, level 50, level 50, level 60, level 60. And then we did this in 8 minutes as for the gear steel skull typically has the gear from the arbiter fane has the gear from candrophone ursine has the same gnarlhorn has the same and basher has the same absolutely amazing a lot of the just champions as is so let's go over these champions we want to see this gear right we have a okay a fast arbiter sorry we're going to show the speed like this is pretty much on par with what i've been able to uh, accomplish as well as free to play um maybe a little bit more but then again that's you know one extra piece maybe that needs one extra roll we have a shield set mountain king with two pieces of cruel i'm not going to go over each piece here guys i think you understand how this works probably a an attack okay we have an attack banner that's pretty solid and a good amount of resistance very nice Kandra phone in a swift parry set uh, yeah that's pretty amazing i don't even have one set on my account so um this one was moved around like fane for example got it the vizier also probably built for clan boss so that probably moved around as well uh i think no we said the same it was the same for the vizier gear rosin okay we have our uh, lifesteal and a few random pieces sal the drakes was also used so we have two pieces of divine speed two pieces of speed two pieces of crit rate pretty good as for the Krila, relentless Krila, that's actually pretty nice i wonder if he's using her for clan boss as well we're gonna check in a second molly number one in immunity no we we switched the molly one of the mollies this one had the arbiter gear i remember he said that duchess probably as is pretty solid valkyrie i'm assuming also used in clan boss the valkyrie and the martyr man dude are you for real that's amazing and the duchess look at this right oh that's the free-to-play dream right there that is amazing what are the chances you get them all then i think he said did he say a stun psylar let me quickly go back to dark elves right here 
uh, Dark Elf, we have Psylar, the same. Okay, just the speedy, speedy, speedy Psylar. Nice. Skull Crown, the same, I think he said. Sepulchre Sentinel, probably against the clan boss, judging by the speed and the lifesteal. Then we have the Doom Priest in Relentless. Yeah, that's pretty solid. So I'm thinking he probably geared them correctly right off the bat. And he also had, you know, the champions to pull it off. Uh, and he got away with all those level 40s and 50s. It's next level. We have Zargala, Full Cruel, Infernal Baroness. We have Taunt. Okay, that works. Yeah. Uh, we have a stun set, Sanesha. We have a shield set, Miscreated Monster. Catacomb Counselor is a bunch of random pieces. Only two pieces of crit damage matching up. Okay. Then we have uh, the Jar Egg with a lifesteal. And um, some, a couple random pieces. Two Royal Guards as well, man. Dude, you your account is amazing. Second, The first one is kind of well built. The second one seems like it's um, a little bit of a work in progress. Well, not that bad, actually. Decent stats as well. Real impressive. Fane got the gear of the Candrophone at some point. So maybe this is a work in progress right now. Maybe building her for Clan Boss with Stalwart. Interesting. Really nice. Stagnite. We saw him in there for sure. Sleep set. Okay, that works. Putting those extra sets to good use, the taunt set and the sleep set. I didn't use those. I just shuffled my stun pieces around. But at some point, maybe you can fix a set and maybe days is good enough. Maybe the um, taunt is good enough, right? Sandlash Survivor, we have Lifesteal and two Divine Speed. High Katoon, didn't we see their, her in there? I think we did. Just overall speed. Fenax, just raw damage, I assume. Yeah. Occult Brawler, probably built for the clan boss. Did he do a defense banner? No, accuracy banner. Okay. <clears throat> and then we've got Marksman. We did not see him in there. The Bulwark, did we see him in there? We did not see him in there. Reliquary Tender, I think we saw her for the High Elf. Bellower was in there. Stun set Bellower, for sure. That makes a lot of sense. We have, okay, Full Cruel. Uh, one is Full Cruel and a lot of accuracy as well. And then the other one is kind of just accuracy and speed. Really fast. Okay, so one is fast, and then one is a little bit slower. Kind of like myself, pretty solid. Uh, we have, oh, sorry, that scrolled all the way back up. Let me go down. Frozen Banshee, probably for Clan Boss here as well. Really solid stats, 4.2k defense, and he made it work with a defense banner, so that's a pro tip for you guys. Uh, probably a defense percent chest, really nice. Kale, uh, so things probably moved around a little bit, but he did use him. The Apothecary, just kind of like full speed, I assume. Yeah, Gorgrom, um, full speed. Steel Skull. Had the gear from the Arbiter, but now I'm thinking he's probably just gearing them with whatever's left over to hopefully do the stages on auto. He also has Madame Cerise. Yeah, Madame Cerise with a lot of accuracy, pretty solid. And there is the so-called Lydia, the Death Siren. And this is, what is this? This is the Perception set. Okay, so a decent amount of accuracy, probably a work in progress, okay? And uh, finally, the level 50s, because there's a lot of them. We have the Skull Lord in a sleep set. Okay, Gorp Duck in a lot of speed, Skartorsis in stun because this guy has an AoE A1. Molly right here, half naked, probably he did move a little bit, few pieces around. Basher in a stun set, that works. And we've got the uh, Broadma in speed immortal, random pieces I mean. We've got the Ursine, rear guard, Husk, which wasn't a stun set, I think he said. Then we have a Skull Crusher, level 50, so I guess, oh, he has Valkyrie, of course, he doesn't. Who needs, who needs Skull Crusher when you have Valkyrie? Grizzled Jarl, okay, Hope. Took some pieces apart. Seeker, Vala, Mistress was in there. The second Bellower wasn't. This Falhound was in there with his stun set. I remember seeing that. Runic Order, he did not use. I did. Gnarlhorn, I think he did use. Okay. Frost is good. AoE Provoke makes a lot of sense. We have a Cantor of the Cyclone. She was in there. Errol, I think, was in there as well. Killian 1, Killian 2. Grohawk was in there. And a stun set. That's cool. We have Drockle the Gaunt in a shield set. And more to Macabre in a bunch of random pieces. Uh, sorry, no, we got two Immortal, two Accuracy, and two Speed. And then Senecal is a few uh, mixed bag here as well. Two Speed, Accuracy, Mausoleum Mage. We did not see him in there. And then the rest, I don't think we really saw them in there. Okay, so guys, um, I mean, I could go on forever. We could try some runs, whatever. You, you, you know, it's not going to end. The point is, um, here's an overview of an account that is younger than mine. And that basically got Lydia faster than me. So like I said, not only he beat me by a week, he actually beat me by 
for almost five months in terms of age, okay? And he did not get content creator perks to do this. And yes, he does have a lot of level 50s, but as you saw, it is not needed to max them out. We didn't even do masteries on all of them. I suppose I could check the level 50s here real quick for you guys, but like, Again, not needed. I was going for full builds, maxing out those champions, doing all masteries. So that slowed me down tremendously. This is a perfect example that you do not need necessarily to do this. Also, do not forget that I showed a uh, Reddit post that has a player who also kind of did this in the sense that he went for more accessible champions as much as possible. I'll bring it back up here for a quick second for you guys. Okay, Faction Wars completed using more rares on commons than legendaries on, let's say, a low budget. Perfect for a free-to-play player. So again, go to this. I'll link it in the description. Click on it. Scroll to the bottom and you can see all the teams he used for this. I use this quite a bit as well. I made the video of like uh, Faction Wars gear simplified, uh, sort of focusing on how I was shuffling gear around like sort of he did. I built a few key sets and I moved them around. Okay, so that allowed me to power through all those rest of the Faction Wars really, really fast. But then today's player, this guy, showed how it is possible to just you know, don't max out all the champions. Don't do all masteries right now. You might not need to. If you have that extra time, like I said, to attempt the run with the current team you might get lucky with the rng the crowd control so just give it a shot okay but anyway now with the big nerf um you guys should be able to complete this faster so to all of these guys like this one right here uh me as well for a good portion of it uh got like the full force of the faction wars like you guys now have it easier okay so take that uh, or use that to your advantage and get lydia as fast as possible anyway all that being said let me know what you think in the comments below about this world records fastest free to play uh lydia and final thing i will show you guys don't worry i know i said i would wait towards the end here is the account okay so we have uh um 16581154163372270 i reached out to the diamond and plarium i asked him is this for real he said correct no spending on this account we now have this so-called world record and we can check that number right here okay so one six five eight one one five four again i'll just double check with this one right here for you guys boom boom okay same numbers this is the guy he did it congrats to this player he puts me to shame but he also got really lucky with his champion man like i mean no i'm just kidding man he did it awesome thank you so much for watching guys and i will catch you later